Between my classes and stuff, I was home and I found the letters that my grandmother had sent me six years ago, I think. And they were the beginning of a book that she wanted to write, telling her story about her immigration from um, Germany to Uruguay during the Holocaust. Um, she was going to keep writing, and then two years ago she passed away. And I didn't think about the letters and even think about finishing the book or looking for more information until this summer. Um, and then I saw a sign for the Barksdale Award, and I thought, oh, this would be a good idea. But I hope to translate the letters and put facts together because the letters include stuff that she wrote to friends in hiding or family in hiding during the time in Germany and people around the world. So I hope to get the little facts, tie them in. I have a family tree. And I'm not trying to find this undiscovered um, treasure. I'm just trying to see that time period through her eyes. It's something that I never thought I would get to do, take the time to do, and I am ecstatic to start. I realized that you don't have to travel all over the world to um, to make a difference in the world. And there's a healthcare crisis in Mississippi. We have 82 counties in Mississippi, and only 11 of those counties have enough primary care physicians. I think that the first step in achieving lasting health care reform is going to be engaging the Mississippi farming families and the rural Mississippi families in the dialogue for health care reform. So I want this, this survey to be the voice of these working poor Mississippians. The Barksdale Award is a tremendous opportunity. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity. Um, it's going to be the first step in what I consider to be my life's work and that's improving access to health care in Mississippi.